guys, the Pi here, just gonna make a quick little video on how to make your own action replay codes. First up, you wanna start up Dolphin and start up the game that you're going to do it on. I'm gonna be doing it on Lost Kingdoms 1. Um, and next you're going to want to go to Tools and go to Cheat Manager and then Cheat Search. It should be the third one. Um, and I don't want that. So we're gonna wanna hit New Scan. All right, so let's say you know what? Let's see if we can figure out where the game stores how many wins somebody has. So let's go to player one settings, load, slot A. And we are going to, I guess, just go to that one. Okay. Should have zero wins. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to type in the hexadecimal value for whatever win counter we have. So right now it's zero. Um, you can also do just zero as an octal value, not an octal, as a decimal value, but I prefer zero x, zero, 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 zero. Um, okay, so then I hit next scan and this number is going to change. And you can hold it down because coding is constantly changing and so it's going to get rid of every um, non-zero number or every yeah every non-zero number as long as you have it set to equal um, all right and then we're going to go to start battle and we're going to beat this other character up really quickly Two. Now, technically, this is looking for player one's wins, not player two's wins. All right, so now that it is at one win, in fact, let me do that so that it's a little easier to see. Now that it's at one win, we change this to the hexadecimal value for one, which just happens to be seven zeros and then a one. And then we hit next scan, not new scan, next scan. And see, now it's only at 51,000. 52,000 things that it's at. We can even click it another couple of times. All right. Um, so then there's a couple of things we can do now. We can either win another battle or we can, we'll just save it really fast. Save player one data. Um, and then we will load a different player's data. Let's just say that one. Shouldn't have any wins on it. And yep, no wins. And so we're going to change this to zero. Even if it did have a win, we could just keep it at one because it would have changed other things. So now we go back to zero and now we're down to 190. We can even click it a couple more times, but it's not changing. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to load the second one or the first one again. And we're probably gonna have to win another fight. We are going to, so it's back at one, so we're gonna do, and we're gonna make sure that it's at one, yep. We're gonna hit next scan, and we're down to four of these. Now, you could just brute force right now. In fact, I think I'm gonna do that. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to double click on this, and I'm going to say wins, question mark, or I guess P1 wins, P1 wins, question mark. And then we're going to change this to a value. So, zero, 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 Let's just say 10, so it'll be 16. Okay, so now I go into AR codes and I click the check mark box on player one wins question mark and hit apply. And that just happened to be it because now I'm at 16 wins. Okay, that's awesome. I'm, I'm glad that it worked out like that. And then these other ones are going to be just different things. Actually, um, this doesn't really matter, but I think 44 might happen to be where the memory card storage is. Um, 
So if we go into player one settings and save, save player one data, do any of them? No, they don't. Okay. But yeah, so now I'm at 16 wins and it's all because I can cheat. 